Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, I had some people asking questions about gut health and also what hydrogen can potentially do for your gut. I got some uh, notes here so I can make sure not to miss anything because there's a lot of things to cover. First thing, your gut guys is literally, it's super important. I mean, it can literally be responsible for roughly 60 to 70 to maybe even as much as 80% of your immune system. So it's really important for it to be in good health. However, there, it's really important to not have inflammation in the gut. So ultimately what can happen is this. If you get inflammation in the gut, which actually happens to a lot of people out there and a lot of people just don't even know that they're having inflammation. The problem is, is once you start having chronic inflammation. What the thing that concerns me the most is that it eventually leads to certain damage or issues where you can't absorb your nutrients properly. And that right there, is literally the biggest problem because one of the things that I really focus on to really get into good health is you can't be deficient in anything. And the majority of Americans are deficient in something. So it's really important to not be deficient. The problem is, is a lot of people will think like, oh, I can just eat certain foods or take certain vitamins and I won't be deficient. That's not the case because there's so many things that cause inflammation in the gut. I mean, you can have problems from taking like antibiotics you can get inflammation from like a lot of pesticides, a lot of different chemicals, certain foods we eat. There's so, and you know, I always like to try to uh, stay uh, eating organic foods or recommend you know eating organic foods it's really difficult to really keep the gut in good health that's actually one of the nice things about molecular hydrogen it really appears that it can be an anti-inflammatory so it can help with the inflammation that people get in their gut and that also by the way i forgot to mention gmos also i've read some stuff where gmos can also cause inflammation in the gut and when you have chronic inflammation in the gut eventually it's even possible for it to begin to send signals to other parts of the body and then you can begin to get inflammation in other areas also. So, so those are just some of the really important aspects of gut health. Let me see if there's anything else that I wanted to touch on here. Yes, difficulty absorbing nutrients. Um, it, you know, it also, one of the things that I really liked about hydrogen that I actually read when I was doing this research is it really appears to really affect the gut in a really, really positive manner. Not only as an anti-inflammatory, I mean, the list of what hydrogen does for the body is incredible incredibly long, almost mind-boggling. It almost seems, it almost defies logic. When I was first researching molecular hydrogen many years ago, I was, I'm actually a skeptical person by nature. And so when I was seeing all the data, I thought this can't be possible. It's too amazing. That can't be true. But then you have to learn about how you have to make it properly, how to use it safely. And you know, I make other videos on that, but let's keep moving on in regards to the gut. One of the things that really blew my mind the most about the gut and hydrogen is how it can actually affect the microflora. It can literally stimulate anaerobic microflora, guys, which people may be like, what does exactly does that mean? Let me tell you something I've seen personally. There's somebody I know who had problems with like gluten intolerances and they really couldn't eat a lot of dairy products, you know, uh, being like lactose intolerant. And I didn't know that it's something that could potentially just go away. This particular person was drinking hydrogen water. You know, we had talked a long time ago, and of course I'm always sharing hydrogen water because I think it's so amazing. And they got on a proper hydrogen protocol. And more recently, you know, they didn't even know that it affected such things. But when she tried to eat some gluten, or some dairy products, she's like, I noticed that I haven't been having the issues that I used to have. Guys, it's amazing the way it affects your, 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 your microbiome, your gut. And you know, a lot of people don't know that when you use antibiotics, it can literally take sometimes one to two years to really restore your gut health. And from what I'm looking at, it appears that molecular hydrogen could potentially accelerate the healing of your gut in a major way to where you wouldn't have to wait that long and it's just so incredible what it can really do for your gut. That's also one of the reasons that I recommend a lot of like fruits and vegetables. If you guys haven't seen my smoothie videos, I'll put a link down below, but you can look for them. I have all my videos numbered. I got like hydrogen smoothies that I show people how to make because the fibers within fruits and vegetables, this is some other science that's really quite new and quite interesting. Every fiber from every fruit and vegetable is a little different. You can't just take like a fiber or supplement and expect that it's gonna do the same thing as having different fruits and vegetables, which appear to feed really good gut bacteria. And of course, they help with the production of hydrogen within your gut, your own natural production. However, you know, as you age and what happens with time is your hydrogen levels do go down. That's why it's really important to supplement with hydrogen and then all of a sudden your body can go back to operating at the levels that it should be kind of like when you were younger and probably in better health so again molecular hydrogen the way it affects your gut guys it's it's really really crazy i mean 
imagine people who had lack, you know, problems uh, with dairy products and people having gluten issues, and that's just part of it. If you can improve your gut health and therefore improve your immune system, I know that I, I personally had a major, major improvement with my immune system because I actually used to have a lot of issues I had a lot of different medical problems and like really, really serious ones. And I mean, I would get sick easily and when I would get sick, I just wouldn't recover. It was terrible. And I almost want to knock on wood and maybe I will because this last year, I didn't get sick at all and that is unheard of for me. I always end up getting sick and it's just been, it's been wonderful because it's so terrible to, to get sick and catch the flu and just even, even just other issues or having to be on pharmaceuticals and all this stuff. It's really a nightmare and molecular hydrogen has just really been an amazing amazing blessing and and again even though there's science out there people just don't seem to know about it let me see what else I might have missed oh yeah um, it appears that molecular hydrogen also facilitates fermentation within the gut another really really good and positive thing it can really help with constipation so that's another good thing you really want to clear out your bowels guys really really important to clean keep that area really, really clean. And of course, you know, molecular hydrogen affects so many other things, you know, like oxidative stress, which is another really good thing that you want to eliminate from your body. And it does it in a safe manner. That's what really makes it so remarkable. And it's so tiny, it gets into every single part, even like the tiniest of cells, like your mitochondria. It's, it's, it's actually just completely amazing. Um, let's see, it also appears to affect your metabolism and uh, cholesterol. So in a, again, when it affects your microbiome, it inadvertently affects these areas and then also your liver health. So in the end, does molecular hydrogen affect your gut? Yes, in a major way. Just don't forget, it's really important. Make your hydrogen water properly, guys. If you don't make it properly, it can literally be unsafe. Using you know Chinese devices like this, not a good idea. They're, they're just, from leaching metals to making the wrong levels to changing the pH of the water is actually not a very good idea based on all the science. I definitely don't recommend the hydrogen pills either, the chemical reactions, the residues. I can't stress enough how important it is to make it properly so that it will be safe because the thing about hydrogen water or even hydrogen gas inhalation, it's something that you're gonna use in the long term. It's not something short term. And also be cautious because there's products out there that actually mix hydrogen and oxygen and that's also a tough thing because they'll mix them and they'll try to say, hey, this is hydrogen. Guys, the research and all the data that I've been seeing, it's research where it shows the benefits of just pure hydrogen, not the mixture. The data I've seen on the mixture is different and it's not as powerful as just pure hydrogen. You want that purity because oxygen, there are benefits to oxygen and I've made videos. I'll put some links down below also. Yes, Oxygen is important, but you got to remember you're breathing in over 20% oxygen all the time anyway And you can do certain breathing techniques too like the Wim Hof method Which are really good for your oxygen levels to supplement with oxygen is something that you can do sparingly But not something that you can do regularly whereas with hydrogen you can do pretty regularly I mean once in a while you can take a break from it and that's great and that's okay, too but you can definitely use it a lot more than you ever would be able to use oxygen. So don't get them confused. They're actually quite different and the benefits from each one of them are also quite different. Hydrogen is definitely a much better tool, much more powerful, really quite remarkable actually. And that's it guys. Thanks all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video if you found the information helpful. And definitely don't forget to share the video guys. There's a lot of people out there who just do not know about hydrogen. I really want to reach as many people as I possibly can because I really believe that hydrogen can change the world. I really think it can significantly improve people's health. I mean, I've seen it with my own eyes. It's really remarkable when done properly. So hopefully you guys can watch my other videos and learn about that. And that's it, guys. Thank you for all for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.